It's about how can we add the most value? Yes. How can we over deliver to our clients? How can we make irresistible offers to them that gets them to uh, continue to stay with us? So we don't have to think about how to grow the business because yep. if that is really our culture and our motto, which yep. is to take care of our clients, then our business really should grow by itself, right? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are at in the world. So hello world. And this is my beautiful wife, my angel, my queen, my amazing business partner, Phyllis Savan. Hi, how's everybody doing? Yes. Hey, so what is success to you? Is it wealth? Is it happiness? Is it fame? Only you can definitely answer that. And uh, today we're going to be covering uh, some things today that we learned from. This is part of our series that we learned from Tony Robbins Business Mastery. And uh, I don't know when this is going to end because obviously mm -hmm. there we we got so much out of it yes. that we just we're just so excited to share them with you. Yes. And uh, we won't know. We don't know when this episode will will end. The series will end, but we'll keep it going until until all the notes. I mean, I think I put hundreds <laughs> of pages of notes. So until all those are gone, uh, you're going to get this every single Wednesday. So and yes. um, and at the same time, you know, if you really do like it, you know, there's a lot of value from it. You know, just make sure that you like the video, share it with a couple of your friends, right? And also, you know, follow us on Facebook. And, you know, if you, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, you know, just make sure you subscribe with us too, because we will love, you know, um, the connectivity so that, you know, we can bless this video to more people through, you know, yes. YouTube or Facebook. But again, you know, uh, here, our goal is to just give you more um, um, insights, more tips and tricks so that you can live your life to uh, f the fullest and also run your business as um, well, uh, fine tuned as possible. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we normally share a couple of takeaways, but today we're going to share with you one takeaway because it has some really, uh, really good meat and potatoes within it. So I didn't want to overwhelm you with a couple of different takeaways. Yes. So it's, it's one takeaway that has about three other components to it that yep. are very, very crucial and very important, important to a business owner. So, yep. Um, again, you know, if you look at business, right? So we're business owners. We've been yep. entrepreneurs here for 15 years and, uh, you know, life partners for 16 yep. of those years. And, um, you know, we look at our business and we are always constantly thinking, how can we grow our business? How can we, uh, sustain our business? How can we thrive and continually to expand business or into other markets or things like that? Yep. But, we have really shifted in in our mindset of that. You know, obviously thinking about growing business is always very important to a business owner, yep. but now it's about how can we add the most value? Yes. How can we over deliver to our clients? How can we make irresistible offers to them that gets them to uh, continue to stay with us? So we don't have to think about how to grow the business because yep. if that is really our culture and our motto, which yep. is to take care of our clients, then our business really should grow by itself, right? Am yep. I agree? Mm -hmm. uh, let us know in the comments if you're a business owner and we have run our businesses both ways. Yep. Where we're always thinking about strategies and procedures and new products, new services, new ideas, and launching new everything or expanding to different markets or adding new people. And really it's, you know, adding technology, but really that's you thinking about how to grow your business. Yes. But if you put forth the effort on how to grow, you know, really how to provide uh, value to your clients, then your business, all that other stuff kind of happens automatically. Am yep. I, am I right? So yes. babe, what do you think your thoughts? She runs really a lot of the back end uh, of our company. So, you know, a lot of pressure th through the years has been on her to uh, innovate, right? Innovate all these new technology, new processes, new systems, new employees. And I think now that we've kind of shifted our focus on our clients, it really has relieved you of a lot of, um, you know, pressure. Am I correct? Yes, absolutely. And I think, uh, you know, again, Tony Robbins Business Mastery is so amazing because it just lets you think about things that you usually do not think that a lot of, you know, successful business owners are currently doing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, by us knowing about this, uh, you know, this way of growing the business, it's like, well, it's blowing my, our mind because, 
you know, a lot of time you're like, hey, we need to, you know, grow the business by 10%, 20%, 30%. And then, it, you know, sometimes the numbers is just so overwhelming and so stressful. Yeah. And then when you get stressed and we, when you get overwhelmed, you know, your execution, the speed of execution will just slow down because you're just like, ah, oh, man, okay, let me, let me go, you know, take a break. Let me think about it. I don't know. Maybe I would do it next time. I would need, and, and, you know, and this three things that Cease is going to share with you right now that you should be focusing on. If you just, you know, do 10% of each or even just 5% of each and you times them together, you're like, boom, you know, like that's a huge growth for a business. Right. And I just never really thought about that because I just thought that, you know, we have to like add a brand new product, right? Or, uh, you know, or conquer another industry or, you know, start another new business. Like we just think it, we always think it's so big. But again, you know, when you know, you know, you don't know what you don't know, right? We don't know what we don't know. Yeah. And when we know about this, it's like, bam, you know, it's so simple, easy. And I wish I have known it. So that's the reason why we want to bring it up to you. Yeah, and that idea of taking care of your clients is also has really impacted th these three areas that I'm going to talk about here in a little bit because a lot of times if, if you if you get that part right, your business grows with your existing clients, meaning they'll bring in people, they'll refer people, uh, their testimonies will sell your company or your products or services for you. Yes. And that, that, you know, that is very, very important. It, you know, we spend so much time a lot of times as business owners you know, putting uh, large budgets on our sales and marketing and everything to try yep. to attract new clients. Yep. When all reality, we really need to take care of our existing clients, yes. right? So yes. that, you know, that they can grow and, and attracting new clients is always uh, a division or part of yes. the business, but that should not be your your main business plan. You know, it yes. shouldn't be your business map. So Yes. So the, the three, you know, the three way to grow your business, you know, the, the, the first way is increase the number of your clients. Yes, increase number of the clients. And that's we're talking about, you know, when we say increase number of clients, we're talking about obviously new, but we're also talking about how can you increase the number of clients that stay with you? Yep. Right? Increasing increasing your existing client base, right? That's very important. So uh, you know, as a business owner, you always got to think about how can I allocate certain budgets, certain market, certain marketing budgets for sales and marketing to attract new clients. But rarely, and we ran our business way, rarely did we allocate budgets to uh, to keep our clients. Yes. Right. To yes. keep our clients. And, and how do you grow? You know, it's kind of like yeah, a bucket, right? You're trying to fill in with new clients, but then you got a hole, you know, below with your existing clients are falling out. Well, you're, you're constantly uh, spending a ton of money on this one area when you can also, you do both. You, you fill the bucket and you, you basically plug, plug the holes where there are holes, right? Yes. And, uh, and again, you know, the, the number of client could be technically the client, right? The new client, right? How, how can you get add more value to increase the client? Again, it could be just 10 tiny little percent and everything will work well. And on top of that is also, you know, client referral, right? If you treat your existing client well, then most likely, you know, you have a raving fan. And how do you get the raving fan to refer you more client? Yes. Uh, I don't know whether, you know, wherever you're at, whether you heard about this company called CG Camp, uh, they're huge in Dallas, uh, huge in Texas. Uh, man, they are doing such an amazing job with it. Like they don't even need a sales force because all the clients that they have are all raving fan. And you will see, uh, you know, everybody wearing their shirt. You will see everybody that have like the logo in the back of the car. I have never seen any, uh, you know, another brand that have so many CG logo in the back of their car. It's like they're so proud that they're part of the camp. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's what, you know, uh, initially when we joined it, I just like, that's what I wanted to find out. How do they create this? you know, raving thing culture that, you know, everybody was, you know, either wearing their shit on day to day basis, put it on the Facebook that they are, you know, working out or, you know, put the label on their car to let everyone know that, hey, I'm with CG. We are part of this family, part of this community. Yeah. And, and that really goes boils down to all down to their trainers. Right. Yes. If you look at how they um, keep their clients, I mean, every single day you go to camp to to work out, they take a picture of you. Yes. Right. They uh, give you, hey, you hit 50 check-ins or 100 check-ins. They send you a shirt. So ultimately, they're spending some time and energy there and resources on keeping their clients. And really, you know, um, when you run into, and the best way to create a raving fan, yes. right, how to build your client base is when you have a, a negative review, nobody really likes negative reviews, right? But yeah. that's really one of the best times to really create a raving fan. When you have a negative review of what your company that comes to play with with a client, go to them right away. Yes. How can I help you? What did we do? How can I fix this? What can I make sure that this doesn't happen again to another client or to you? What can I give you? What can I, you know, how can I fix this? How can I solve this problem? And when you do, when they allow you to do that, 
man, you just really just turned a client into a raving fan, a client yes. that really wasn't a raving fan of yours in the first place. So don't shy away from those, uh, you know, those troubled clients. For yes. Sure. And Ooh. a lot of times, you know, they just they just have something that they need to voice out. They just right. need to tell you how they feel. And after they tell you how they feel, you know, everything most likely will be OK. I mean, you know, based on all the businesses that we have run so far, you know, uh, the, the worst client most likely will turn out to be the best client that, yes, that you have. Yes, most definitely. And then the second way to grow your uh, company, your business is to increase the average transaction yes. size. Yes. Right. And how are you going to increase the average transaction size if you don't have raving fans? Yes. Right. And when I say increase uh, transaction size, that could be additional products and services that you sell to the existing client yep. um, or increase the actual core packer, core package that you have, core product that you have just by increasing it. But this is why, you know, when we first talked about this, um, all these three ways to grow your business really has to do with your ability to uh, create clients that stay. Like it's, like we said, customers go away, but clients stay. Clients yep. that are raving fans yep. of yours stay. And when they yes. stay, they, they you can increase your pricing uh, through time yep. or add other products and services. Yes. Uh, you know, like for example, us, we do live events. We added online, an online piece to it. So uh, adding online, we can sell to our existing client base and increase our average transaction size. Why? Yes. Because they know we over deliver at the live events. Why would they we not over deliver on these? virtual events as well. Yes. And, uh, you know, Russell Bunsen also, you know, they are selling supplements on the side. And, uh, you know, the way that they increase the average order order size, it's like, it's amazing because, you know, they have done research and believe it or not, you know, uh, there is people that will buy nine bottles at the same time when the deals is good. Yeah. So instead of buying one bottle or two, there's actually a lot of people that actually just buy nine bottles because they're like, man, it's really good. And I always like to give it to my family or I just want to put it there so that I don't have to forget about running out. So they actually buy nine bottles at the same time. And it's like, wow, you know, I re re never really thought about that. But again, you know, just test out your market. You know, where are you? Right. And if, again, if you're a real estate agent, you know, what we always say is, hey, if you are comfortable selling at two hundred thousand dollars, maybe now you should be selling at two hundred fifty thousand and then three hundred thousand. So that way you slowly but surely increase the transaction size. So then, you know, you're making more money on, in, in your commission. So again, you just have to be creative about it and thinking about it. And again, it, it could be just gradually. It doesn't have to be like, bam, you know, go be a go home kind of deal. Correct. Yes. And then the third way of growing your business is increasing a continuity program, a yes. repurchase program. Yes. And that's really, you know, a, a monthly subscription, yes. uh, an annual subscription. One yep. of the things I really like about the um, supplement in industry, and I saw I've from as far as I know right now, I've seen uh, really Tony has done this and uh, Dr. John Gray has done this. But uh, continuity program looks like this. Or I, I love like I love uh, greens, right? I love my greens. I, I like I like to put a scoop of greens into my smoothies in the morning and yep. at night. So these are uh, bio greens or so healthy greens. Right. Yep. And and you can order a bottle for, you know, sixty dollars. Yep. Right. Every time. So if you want to order it, sixty dollars. But if you you know, sign up to be uh, in a continuity program where they send it automatically to you every month, yep. Yep. then that bottle goes from sixty dollars to fifty dollars. Yes. So it saves me ten bucks, but it actually created for them a consistent order from your clients. Yep. Does that make sense? They technically so that, take the marketing fee that they're gonna uh, you know acquire for a new client. Yeah. To to you. Yes. You know. So in that way, you know, it's a win win situation. And and again, you know, you talk about supplement. I mean, Amazon. Man, I bought uh, diapers, I bought toothpaste, I bought everything on monthly subscription. So at, every month at this time, you know, this whole boxes will come to me. So I don't have to think about it, right? And it's, it's so convenient. But the thing is, a lot of time we forget that we can also do that with our client. Most definitely. So, you know, it could be something like, uh, you know, with us, it, since we deal with people, it could be a, a mastermind, a monthly mastermind yes. or an annual uh, membership to a mastermind or live event, right? Uh, anything like that, where it's re, you know reoccurring that they basically stay connected with you and your communities and your products and services and your company. So it's very important to have that. So again, uh, you know, if you like, you guys like this, uh, please like, comment, and share with a, a business owner that you know, um, you know, you want to help them take their business to the next level because these are very three very simple strategies that you can apply to your business or they can apply to their business which is you know to grow a business three ways is obviously to increase your uh your uh client number of client transactions right and that's we're talking about having a budget for both at new acquisitions and how having a budget to keep your existing clients happy and uh creating raving fans 
And then second is increase your average transaction size, which is huge. And that could be uh, new products and services as well as maybe increasing your core product. Again, raving fans help with that because if you get great reviews, great testimonials, and you impact live and do what you're supposed to do and deliver, over deliver what you're supposed to be uh, delivering, then you're definitely going to um, you know create a ton of raving fans. And then the third is uh, really create a, a continuity program, a monthly subscription, some type of an annual uh, subscription or program for sure. So. Yes, and and you can go online and just check a ten 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 growth plan. Uh, it just you know ten percent. You know you increase ten percent of your client, ten percent of average transaction, and ten percent of your you know repurchasing. Mm -hmm. And then you know you will see you know how how big your your business would be. You know without really doing a lot of tweaking or changing or you know yeah. a refining of your business yeah. or business system. So you know check it out online. Again, you know we are here to give you some of the tips and tricks to kind of open your mind to some of the new ideas that we have learned from Tony Robbins event and or anything that we are learning so that way you know you can work smart just like us and uh, you know we just really enjoy to give you more uh, values every single time yes I mean when my wife talks about the 10 10 10 plan again just simplify it you're a business owner look at your business now maybe you're focused on uh, only new client acquisitions well what you want to do is how can I allocate 10 percent or uh, of a certain amount of budget and time towards acquiring new. How can I uh, increase my business by 10% by keeping our existing clients? And then how can I grow my business 10% by increasing my average size and 10% by uh, a continuity program? So if you don't have certain things in your business, you only have one leg. It's kind of like a stool, right? Your business is only operating on that one leg. Maybe you need to add these two or three legs to, to your business. Yes, actually, just to keep it simple, uh, we will be uh, creating a worksheet uh, right after this video. And then, uh, you know, so you will go down to the link below. Again, you know, going above and beyond for our client, right? Always. Uh, so, Impromptu, you know, <laughs> over deliver. It's because great. we love our, our assistant. So, um, you know, just go down there and click on the link and then you will be able to, you know, download this PDF worksheet. So that way you will be able to work on it. You know, is it a 10%, you know, client? How much How much would that be? If right now you have a thousand people, that means you're adding uh, 100. 100, 100. Yeah. You know, if you have a hundred people, you know, technically you just have to add 10. So, you know, then you just do 10, 10, 10. You'll be like, you'll be surprised, you know, how much increase you have for your business. Again, we love you very much. We know that, you know, we're here for you. And uh, we wanted to give you more and more and more, you know, added value. And what else you want to say, baby? No, I, I like that. You know, the 10% rule that Tony taught was very um, crucial, at least to me as a business owner. I, I you know, I, I always want to set these large, big, massive goals, right? Because I, I just want to get there, right? I want to yes. explode it. And, and if you look at someone like Tony, he's been in his industry for 43 years, right? He talks about it a lot. He says, we overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in, in a years. decade, right? Um, it just you have you're you're in this for the long run yes. right you're in this to you know either build it to sell or build it for the next generation but uh grow grow you know steadily set some realistic numbers yep. and this way you're not letting yourself down and when you let yourself down you can definitely damage your own confidence for sure yes. okay so again anyway. thank you very much guys for listening we love you and uh please uh, comment and let us know if there's any improvements we need to make anything else you want to learn from us and your takeaways thank you very much have a blessed day Bye. We love you.